Good morning. Today, have I got a treat for you. We'll be making a recipe that was given to us from a friend of ours. It's called Jason's Bad. And for the sake of this video, I'll just call it delicious crab dip. So our ingredients are eight ounces of imitation crab meat. You can use real crab meat if you're fancy. Eight ounces of cream cheese. A tablespoon of minced garlic. A tablespoon of liquid crab oil. And green onions. I like to add Old Bay and to give it some crunch, I'll put a stalk of celery in there as well. So you should just cut the crab meat up in small pieces. If you are using real crab meat, I suggest rolling it around in your fingers first to make sure that you get out any shell debris. Sometimes there could be some left over and you don't want that crunch. <laughs> That's not a pleasant crunch. Cream cheese. Let me wash the celery. What I do when I'm using celery in a recipe is I break it and pull to get the hard strings off of it before, before chopping it up. And then we'll just chop this up in little small pieces. Green onions. Let me wash these. Crab boil. This stuff is very potent garlic, and Old Bay. And then we just stir it up. And at this point, you can put it in the stand mixer if you'd like. Uh, I just prefer muscle over machine, so I'm just going to stir it. And at this point, you can uh, just cover it. Put it in the refrigerator for a couple hours or whenever you're ready to eat it. Uh, the, if you let it set for a couple hours, all the flavors meld together. So it's extra delicious, but you can eat it right away if you want. Now you can serve it with crackers or chips or whatever. It's delicious, whatever, however you eat it. If this video was to your liking, you can hit that like button, subscribe, tell your friends, and most of all, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. <laughs>